So you want to become a data scientist. Well, you've come to the right video. In this video, you will learn the data scientist demand, the skills needed to become a successful data scientist, the tools used in the field, and also how to get hired, how to actually land a career in this field. So let's get started. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the employment of data scientists is actually projected to grow 35% within the next nine to 10 years. And while people may be sort of worried about AI or ChatGPT or artificial intelligence tools replacing data scientists, the chances of that happening in the near future is very slim. Data science is more than the tools you use and AI cannot yet truly understand what specific data means for an organization. If anything, these tools can be looked as an assistant to data scientists and to data analysts. All right, so now let's get started. Okay, so now let's talk about the skills needed. Now with data science, there is a combination of technical hard skills as well as soft skills, such as communication skills and just understanding how to interact with people like interpersonal skills. With these skills, it is good and key to know the fundamentals, understanding the foundation. First up is statistics. Statistics can be seen as one of the core backgrounds or backbones of data science. It plays a vital role. It helps businesses and organizations turn data into insights. It enables us to make informed decisions, optimize operations, and increase revenue. Statistics is also one of the core components of machine learning, so it is a must to understand and grasp the foundational aspects of statistics. As far as math, you'll also have to know basic algebra, linear algebra, as well as calculus. This will help you understand the underlying foundation and concepts of machine learning algorithms. SQL is also one of the top skills that data scientists or aspiring data scientists must know. Every company stores its data somewhere, and it's our job to be able to locate, gather, and extract that data. You must be familiar with the language and the syntax, and how to properly use this skill to extract data. As far as programming languages, Python is the number one programming language that data scientists use. More than 70% of data scientists' time is spent collecting, cleaning, gathering, and preparing data for data analysis. So you will be using pandas and numpy a lot to clean and to transform data into a workable data set. And I wanted to include the documentation for pandas. So here we go, and I'll provide the link inside of description. It really breaks pandas down step by step, and it helps you along the way. So this is a great resource for understanding and learning pandas inside and out. Another package that is within Python is going to be scikit-learn. So you're gonna be using this to work on machine learning algorithms. I'll include the documentation for this link as well. And then also we are going to be using visualization tools. This is to showcase our analysis and what we have learned and the insights that we have gathered from our data. Visualization tools such as Tableau and Power BI, also Matplotlib and Seaborn within Python will allow us to display beautiful visualizations and to present our findings to stakeholders. We've already discussed some of these tools, but to name them, you will be using Excel, SQL, as well as Python, and visualization tools such as Tableau and Power BI. Here are some of the essential soft skills that you will need to be a successful data scientist. You should be an effective communicator. This means you should understand the power of listening as well as effectively conveying the message. There will be lots of Zoom meetings. You will have stand-up meetings and meetings with other teams, collaborations. So teamwork is a must. There will be times that you have to collaborate with multiple teams within your organization. So teamwork is essential. Collaboration is very big. A lot of times you will be working with other teammates on projects. You will have to have brainstorming sessions and bounce ideas off of one another. So teamwork is definitely key. 
You will also have to have the skill of presentation. A lot of times you will have PowerPoints or Tableau visualizations and you will have to convey your findings to stakeholders or team members. And this is just a matter of being confident and ready to showcase your insights and findings to team members and stakeholders across the organization. Remember to always stay curious and actually that's for everything in life, but staying curious is vital because there will be a lot of times where you are working solo on these projects. If you can understand this key concept, you will be extremely successful in data science. And that is understanding the problem. It may seem simple, but a lot of people have trouble with this. Think about it like this. As a data scientist, you are kind of like a, an investigator. You have to discover the objective. You have to understand what the problem is, gather all the necessary data and the tools to provide valuable insights. Understanding the objective and having clarity on this aspect will serve you well. Let's talk about the getting hired section of this video. Okay, so there's no getting around the technical and soft skills. I would say dedicate at least six to eight months to having a solid grasp and understanding on all of the skills that were listed in this video. Previous video that I created has a detailed list of resources and I will add that link in the description of this video. Okay, so once you have a solid understanding of the foundational requirements to become a data scientist, and that's Python programming, SQL, Excel, Tableau visualization tools, you should now build a solid portfolio. What I'm showing you now is a website that provides a whole range of data sets at your grasp that you can use to create and build a portfolio. The best way to create a portfolio and to stand out from the competition is creating a portfolio that mimics a real business problem. Now, I would have to go into more detail in this, perhaps in another video, but this detail would be an end-to-end -end project that identifies the business problem, identifies the audience, determines which data needs to be gathered, analyzes the data, and identifies impactful insights, and overall provides a conclusive outcome. Another tip, so LinkedIn is an absolute gold mine. There are, this is the only place that you need to go to search for job openings. You need to optimize your LinkedIn profile with your newly learned skills. Another awesome tip is to write a blog. Yes, create a blog on data science. This will show your passion and your dedication to the field and will actually impress employers. You can create a blog on data cleaning. You can create a blog on machine learning algorithms or your even your journey to data science. Be very creative with this. But overall, this is something else that you can add in your resume. Also, for those who do not have any experience, a useful tip is to place all of your acquired skills on a skill section on your resume along with a link to all of your projects within your portfolio. This way the employer sees, oh wow, he or she has Python skills, SQL, data analysis, they know how to clean messy data sets, they are familiar with algorithms and data modeling. And so this is at the forefront of your resume. So this will be the first thing that employers will see. So it is important to have these skills highlighted. Also, while you're in the job market, it is also beneficial to look at temp agency. This will help you get your foot in the door and you can also seek out recruiters. I do hope this video was beneficial to you. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Also share if you have gained any value from this video. Send me your suggestions and I will create more videos based on what you would like to see. Have a great week, guys.